Okay, welcome to topic one, assessment practice. We are getting ready for the chapter one, topic one test. That is tomorrow. Tom draws seven bugs. Gina draws four bugs. How many bugs do they draw in all? Which shows how to count on to solve the problem. So we're trying to figure out what kind of addition problem. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Counting on would be starting with seven and counting four places. One, two, three, four. So that one works. We're gonna color it in. Number two. Lily has seven fish. Jack has one more fish than Lily. Which equation shows how many fish in all? Choose all that apply. Well, if we have seven plus seven plus one, that's going to equal, seven plus seven is double, 14 plus one more gives us 15. Or, seven plus seven plus one is eight is 15. Which equation shows how many fish in all? Choose all that apply. So seven plus seven plus seven is 21. That does not apply. Seven plus one is eight equals eight. Does not apply. Seven plus seven plus one equals 15. That does. Seven plus seven equals 14. That's not enough numbers. Seven plus eight equals 15. That one applies. Number three, use the 10 frames. Show how to find the sum of eight plus seven by making a 10 and fill in the gray boxes. So we're gonna first of all take our circles and fill in the 10 frame. We're gonna take the two from the bottom down here and put them on the top part to make our 10 frame full. That gives us 10. Then we're gonna finish filling in the bottom part with what's left. That gave us five counters left in the bottom. So we're gonna put our five down here. 10 plus five equals 15. So that means eight plus seven equals 15. Because all we did was move our counters around. We did not change how many counters there were. Number four, which have a sum of 18? We're looking for the number 18. Choose all that apply. 10 plus eight is, that's right, 18. Eight plus 10 is, that's right, 18. Nine plus eight is, that's a near double. Eight plus eight is 16 plus one is 17. So we know that's not right. And eight plus eight was 16, so that's not right. Nine plus nine is 18, that's a double. So we'll mark that one. Number five, seven friends go to the movies. They have four tickets. How many more tickets do they need? Draw lines to match every solution to how it was solved. So we can solve a problem in many different ways through adding on, counting back, addition, or subtraction. Let's find out how they added or subtracted or counted on or counted back to find the answer. Seven, six, five, four. That sounds like counting back. They're taking the number and they're counting backwards. Use an addition fact, count back, count on, use a subtraction fact. Let's move it to count back. Seven minus four equals three. That's right, use a subtraction fact. 
four, five, six, seven. Do we see that the numbers are going up? We're counting on. Four plus three equals seven. There's an addition because it has a plus sign. So we're going to use an addition fact for that one. Nita has 14 grapes. She eats six grapes. Which addition fact can help you find how many grapes Nita has left? Six plus six equals 12 doesn't help us. Six plus seven equals 13. None of those numbers help. Six plus eight equals 14. Well, she had 14 grapes as her total and she ate six. This would be how many grapes she had left. That could tell us an addition fact to find how many grapes. Number seven, use the 10 frames. Show how to make a 10 to find 13 minus seven, then complete the equation. Remember, an equation has an equal sign. So first of all, we need to make 13 counters. That means we're filling in the top 10 frame. And then we have three counters in our bottom 10 frame. But we have to cross off seven counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then find out how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. 13 minus seven equals six. Number eight, Bruce has some coins. He gives four coins to his brother. Now Bruce has nine coins. How many coins did Bruce have at first? Write an equation to solve. So it's a subtraction problem and he has four coins that he gave away and he only has nine left. So if we add those four coins back to the nine, we can figure how many I had left. So let's find out. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 minus 4 equals 9. He had 13 coins left. You can also do this with addition. We could do 9 plus 4 equals 13. And then we would know that he had 13 coins to begin with. So you can solve the problem with addition or subtraction. Number 9. Maria has four pairs. She buys some more pairs. Now she has 12 pairs. How many pairs does Maria buy? Draw a picture to model the problem. So first of all, we know she has 12 pairs. She started out with four pairs. One, two, three, four. But she has 12, so she want, we want to know how many she bought. So four, let's count up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She bought eight pairs. So four plus eight, equals 12. She has 12 pairs all together. A 
Well, this one, I think we're supposed to say how many. This is how many pairs she bought. So we'll say pairs bought. All right, number 10. The team has nine players. Then two players quit. After that, five players join the team. How many players does the team have now? Use the numbers on the cards. Complete both equations to solve the problem. So we have to do it step by step. This is a multi-step problem like we did previously in our homework. We're starting with nine players, but then two players quit. So we have nine minus two. Nine minus two is Look at our answers here and see which one is next. Seven. That's right. After that, five players join the team. So you have seven players and five players join the team. Seven plus five equals, that's right, 12. So now we have 12 players. Number 11, choose yes or no to show a seven will make each equation true. So this is going to be putting a seven in the box and seeing if it's yes or no. Eight plus seven equals 16. If eight plus eight is 16, because it's a double, because this is a near double, then this would be no, this is false. It is not true. If we have seven plus seven equals 14, yes, that is true. That's a double and it works. 14 minus seven. If seven plus seven equals 14, then 14 minus seven equals seven. So that's yes, that works. 15 minus eight equals seven. Let's figure that one out. Seven, let's count up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yay, it works. We're gonna mark yes on that one. Good job, class. 12 is the next problem, and it says, Matt finds nine sticks at the park. Mabel finds seven sticks. How many sticks do they find at all? Write an equation to explain. So if Matt finds nine, then we have to find in all. What does in all mean? That's right, addition. Nine plus seven equals, let's see, nine, let's count up, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, 16 sticks in all. Turn to number 13. Choose yes or no to show if eight will make each equation true. Six plus eight equals 14. Let's count up and see. Eight or six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, it works. That's great. If we put an eight here, eight plus eight equals eight. What do you think? Hmm, 
No, eight plus eight is 16. That doesn't work. How about 14 minus eight is six? Let's try it. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's six blocks. That works. Let's put a yes down. 16 minus eight is eight. Well, if we said eight plus eight is 16, then 16 minus eight is eight. So that is a yes. I like doubles. Josh ate six fewer cherries than Gail. Gail ate 15 cherries. How many cherries did Josh eat? Let's look, draw a picture to model the problem. So if we draw 15 cherries, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. There's 15 cherries. And I'm going to say that Josh ate six fewer. So I'm going to take six off. And that's going to give me a picture of how many cherries. So I say 15 minus six. And that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cherries left nine cherries. Josh ate nine cherries. Number 15. The table shows how many pictures three friends made. Choose one of the friends, write the name of the friend you choose. How many pictures did that friend make? So I'm going to print my friend, Laurel. And Laurel, she has four plus zero cats plus eight dogs. How many pictures did she take all together? Four plus zero is four plus eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Laurel took twelve pictures. You can choose someone else, Fernando or Brian and see how many pictures they took. 